or night, whatever time you might be watching this vlog. My name is Eliza, and I'll be talking about racism. When you think of the word racism, what comes up first in your mind? Is it the fact that it means one race is having power over the other? Or is it that it includes a race being judged because their own country and culture is different from theirs? Racism, also known as racialism, is the belief that humans can be divided into distinct biological entities known as races. That there is a casual link between inherited physical traits and personality, intellect, morality, and other cultural and behavioral characteristics. And that some races are innately superior to others. Which sounds very unfair. The phrase also refers to political, economic, or legal institutions and systems that participate in or perpetuate racial discrimination or otherwise exacerbates racial disparities in wealth and income, education, healthcare, civil rights, and other sectors. Here are the following questions asked in the book. Number one. Do you think Filipinos suffer from racism? I do believe that Filipinos do suffer from racism. OFWs or overseas Filipino workers who are working at another country, which usually is on a contractual basis, they do not always receive the best treatment to where they would be temporarily working or settling. There are some places where they don't get the welcome they should have gotten. I have heard how badly Filipino workers get mistreated. Filipinos who try to make a living get judged and mistreated because other people only see them as, let's say, janitors, maids, nannies, or what we call in the Philippines, mga katulong. Or it can even go much lower like crooks or even bandits. Do you think Filipinos are very racist? Can they be racist against fellow Filipinos, such as Chinese Filipinos or Athos? Do they insult or use names against people from India or Africa or anyone with a dark color? We can't say all the Filipinos are racist. But for sure, some certain Filipinos may have a habit of becoming verbally hostile towards each other. Certain Filipinos are a big fan of being racist on themselves, but I'm not saying who specifically. Let us say that you are applying uh, for a modeling industry and you were gifted with beauty, or even applying for an actress role in a movie. You got all the necessary details about you in check, except they neglect you when they found out that you were just pure Filipino, not a mixture of race. Rather than choosing you having the height, the beauty, and the brains, they chose another female which had a mixture of race. We can say that they're Filipino-American. They can say that they uh, have Filipino parents, but they had a history of living in another country which adapted their culture to the child. So we're comparing the race or they're depending on the people they want in their industry in their company by their race and that's that sounds pretty racist to me i don't think that filipinos can be racist with other pure filipinos but i kind of do know that some filipinos do become racist because there are other filipinos that becomes teachers that talks about the history of Philippines, but they judge them because they're not pure Filipino. Let's say a Chinese Filipino is a history teacher, and the other people or the other people judge him or her, judge him or her that, hey, you shouldn't be teaching history about Philippines. You're a Chinese. And the man or woman says, I am half Chinese or Filipinos. And if I were that person who was, I don't say half-breed, but with different mixture of races, I would feel bad for hearing that. I feel an insult 
to myself and to my genes and to my family tree. What the sad part is that they become, well, it becomes a normal thing for them now. Being, well, countering people that are very racist because they aren't pure Filipinos and they're like talking about the Philippine history, how they're proud to be Filipinos, which they are Filipinos. You don't see I'm a Chinese race. Okay, that's Chinese. You are pure Chinese. But Chinese Filipinos, they're Chinese because maybe their great, great, great grandfather was Chinese. And you still have a Filipino blood in you because your parents are Filipinos. I don't see this very often. Well, the only time or moment I actually did witness this, not to me though, where um, Filipinos insult or use names against people from India or Africa or anyone with dark color. I mean, we have dark color too, but it's Kuyamanke. It's a brown complexion. Sometimes Filipinos do get, well, tend to go too far when insulting people, mostly in games. Let's say that they're, you were playing with fellow Indians and you make fun of how they speak. You make fun of how they live. They can't change that. That's their culture. And that's how they speak. Some Filipinos, mostly in games, they do end up going too far. And it would hurt other people's feelings that you don't agree with their race. You don't agree with their country. Why is racism a problem? Has racism disappeared from society? Okay, obviously racism is a problem. If talking about emotionally, you would hurt a lot of people because a lot of people believe in their own culture, in their own race. If you tell someone that, hey, I don't like your culture, you guys suck. You guys should have our culture because it's much better than yours. Don't do that. That is very offensive. Would you want a person saying that to your country? Of course not. Who would want that to happen? If you don't want anything to happen to you, you shouldn't do that to other people. You should accept that people have their own rights. That people should be treated equally. And no, racism hasn't disappeared from society. Just those little words that we don't actually realize because we just, let's say, we got used to it. Those small little words that can hit you, that they don't notice. Like, oh, so you're visiting our country for a vacation. Ah, why, why did you leave your country? Was it bad? Wow, okay, that was, that was pretty harsh, okay? That would hurt since I am a Filipino, after all. It's just not right. Let's say that you visited the Philippines and you, you enjoyed Philippines for like a few days. Then you meet this one person or a group saying, you don't belong here. Where are you here? You're supposed to be in your country. And you're like, whoa, why are you so hostile to me? Weren't you guys hospitable to us when we went to your country? The world wouldn't be free if we're just all the same. We were all born different races, so we have to accept that we are all born different. I'm going to answer some questions about racism in Venezuela. Do you think Venezuela suffers from racism? Yes, it suffers from racism, however, it's political racism. Do you think Venezuela are ever racist? Can they be racist against fellow Venezuelans such as Chinese Venezuelan or Aito? Do they insult or use names against people from Chinese or Turkey or anyone with different skin color or different characters? This is actually a very good question and uh, it refers to the racism referring nationality. So Venezuela is a multicultural country and it allows immigration before the 50s. It opens its doors to everyone no matter what nationality, religion or skin color. 
like Chinese, Italian, African, Turkish, German, Jews. Um, in fact, in many states of the country, there is a Chinese street. Also, there is a very touristy city where the Germans and their ancestry settled at called um, La Colonia Togar. In Venezuela, it's normal to see people from different nationality, physical characters, language, and skin color. Why is racism a problem? Has racism disappeared from society? Well, racism is a problem because it causes uh, it causes suffering in millions of people due to their race, culture, religion, or skin color, where other people do not accept those differences. Also, we are in 21st century. Racism in many countries is prolonged and uh, prevails. And I think that racism it will not diminish until at least we change the mentality and the environment in which we trade and we are raised. I'm going to read a poem that is called Tronola Beach by Jose Wendell. Quote In Sydney's Tronola Beach, more than five. 5,000 white Australians descended on sands attacking anybody who looked Middle Eastern or Asian. Revenge followed men of color rampage through Tranula with baseball bats, smashing storefronts and windshields. Unquote. Early morning news, 12 December 2005. Blood surges rapidly along Tranula Beach. Armed with bats, white bodies are mad. Replication of tents, parasols, and sun blinds spreading all over. What used to be Kurunula, Kurranula, Aboriginal landscapes, the place of pink seashells. There is no shifting on the shore, no starfish, where dominion shatters. Not too far behind. Dogs on their hands, maids constrict exquisite, shades of perplexity to escape generations, pure and sterile. Spaces beneath vestiges and hamlets from long ago have become driftwood, shells, clevers of melting pots and succession. They are swaying eerily, translucent as postcards, bereft of still scintillating lights in the heated, heated up weather, so racializing the soap. The poem that I'm about to read is about race riots in Australia. The poem's character is trying to make sense of Australia's race relations and the ironies that come with it. Cronula Beach by Jose Wendell Capilli In Sydney's Cronula Beach, more than 5,000 white Australians descended on the sands attacking anybody who looked Middle Eastern or Asian. Revenge followed. Men of color rampaged through Cronulla with baseball bats, smashing storefronts and windshields. Early morning news, 12 December 2005. Blood searches rapidly along Cronulla Beach. Armed with bats, white bodies are mad. Replications of tents, parasols, and sun blinds spreading all over what used to be Cronulla. Aboriginal landscapes, the place of pink seashells. There is no chief stain. On the shore, no starfish. 
where dominion shatters, not too far behind, thugs in their hand, maids constrict exquisite, shades of perplexity, to keep generations pure and sterile, spaces beneath vestiges of hamlets from long ago, have become driftwood, shelves, fevers of melting pots in succession. They are swaying eerily, translucent as postcards, birth of scintillating light in the heated up weather, so racializing the soap. Cranula Beach by Jose Wendell Capilli. The setting of the story is in a calm and peaceful beach in Australia, when the Australians having their time of their lives, and then suddenly, a juxtaposition of tensions between the immigrants and Australian happened. A racial and ethnic tension has come to a violent axe. People began pushing, shoving, and punching each other. This poem is based on a real-life experience. This is one of the darkest days in Australia, and they will assure that this won't happen again. At the end of the day, Australians are the only ones who have the right to riot, and they do not, because they are faithful for their fellow men and they respect each other. Racism. People of color are marginalized and or oppressed as a result of socially created racial hierarchy that favors white people. Racist. A person who is prejudiced against or hostile to others because they belong to a specific racial or ethnic group. Ethnicity. Belonging to a social group with a shared national or cultural tradition is the fact or state of belonging to the group. Marginalized Treated as insignificant or peripheral of a person, group, or concept. Equality Ensuring that everyone has an equal chance to make the most of their lives and abilities. Discussion about immigration and race. Where does the Filipino come in? Why is it an important concern for Filipinos? I think Filipinos always want to have a good place to live in, and sometimes they desire to live in another country to explore, travel, and to have a peaceful living. And another important thing. Um, in the Philippines where labor migration is dominant for the people who are looking for a job, Filipinos want to have a bigger outcome, income, sorry, income, a bigger income. So they tend to leave their families to work in abroad or ready to stay there for good. And because of that, it is an important concern for Filipinos about this kind of matter, I believe.